All right, so the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the main counter selector and the transport. Um, and these are features that you need to understand uh, if you're going to understand editing inside of Pro Tools. So first of all, let's just take a look up at the main counter selector, which is this uh, little set of numbers here that says main, and to the right of it says 11000. Uh, I'm looking at it in bars and beats right now, so that's why it's that uh, format. It's uh, bar 1, beat 1, and that just means I'm at the beginning of the session. If I click on this little drop-down arrow here, uh, I have minutes and seconds. I can, I can switch to just zero minutes, zero seconds, or samples. And I can, uh, I can select you know, whatever I want to view my main time scale. And that just gives me a good indicator. If I click somewhere in my session here, you know, bar three, beat three, that just gives you a good indication of where you're at uh, in your session. And uh, below that is the uh, sub counter scale, which is, is uh, just your, basically your secondary uh, time scale. And I, I usually have this on minutes and seconds just because um, you know, I like to see the bars and beats uh, where I'm at in, in addition to uh, the minutes and seconds. So that's just a, a useful tool uh, to use inside of Pro Tools. To the right of that, we have our little in and out point uh, indicators here. Um, uh, this is, when, when you make a selection inside of Pro Tools, if I, if I grab, um, you know, the second half of this, uh, this acoustic track here, let's say I click and drag, and I have that selected, up here, uh, you'll see it, it, it shows that the start of that is bar 5, beat 1, the end is bar 9, beat 1, and the length of that is 4 bars. So that's really useful, um, you know, if you, if you, you know, let's say, you know, you want to just pu uh, punch in the first 4 bars of something, you know how long, uh, uh, how long that is just by, just by looking at this little length up here and the start and end time. So that's a really useful uh, thing, to, thing to know and, and realize, and of course, uh, you can also, um, in addition to just selecting here, you can click on these and, and, and make, your own, make your selection based on uh, just your, you can just enter it in. If I want to start at uh, bar 4, beat 1, and end at bar 8, beat 1, I just hit enter, and it makes that selection inside of the session for me, which is a really cool, uh, really cool feature. So that's basically this uh, counter um, area here. To the right of that um, is a little mini transport. Uh, here you have all your basic uh, uh, features, and these are very self-explanatory. Stop, play, record, uh, fast forward, rewind. Um, these little um, arrows here will just take you to the very beginning and the very end of your session. And uh, this one here is, uh, is a, puts Pro Tools online, which is basically, it's useful for uh, if you're syncing to another uh, system, if you, wanna, if you want to um, run two systems simultaneously or if you're syncing with an analog machine or whatever, that's what that's for, but you uh, most likely won't use it in just home recording. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up the transport. I'm going to go up to this window menu up here where it says Window and Transport. That brings up the uh, the full transport. Uh, as you can see, it's got some of the same features, and obviously these do the same things as this little mini transport, play, stop, rewind, fast forward, etc. And also, um, uh, down here you have the, um, you have your in and out, you know, your start and end points and your length, which is the same, uh, the same as what we looked at over there. And here you have your main counter selector and your sub counter selector, same as what we looked at over there. In the lower left corner of this uh, transport here, we have uh, some new features that are only available inside of this transport. Uh, Pre-roll and post-roll. Now these, um, these are very useful, uh, especially if you're doing uh, punching in. And if I click this, it becomes white. If it's white, that means that it's active. If it's, if it's, uh, if it's gray, that means that it's, uh, you're, it, it will not be used. Um, so if I, if I make that active, let's make my pre-roll and post-roll active, all that means is if I put my cursor, uh, you know, let's say in the middle of my song right here, and I hit play, it's going, to, uh, it's going to play two bars before where my cursor is. So if I hit play, and 
And so that's useful if you want to, you know, if you want to punch in a, uh, a guitar part starting right there and you want a little pre-roll, you know, just turn on that pre-roll. And uh, as a matter of fact, if I, if I record arm this track and I, and I hit record, it's going to, uh, it's going to, if I hit record, you'll see there it starts recording. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not uh, recording anything right now. But that's, as you can see, that's a really useful feature, the pre-roll and the post-roll. And post-roll, of course, is just, uh, if you have a selection, it's just going to play for that, however many bars you select up here. And of course, this is changeable. You can make this uh, one bar or four bars or whatever you want. Um, so that's, uh, that's a really useful feature there, pre-roll and post-roll. Um, and then to the far right of this transport here, uh, we have some features. Um, Starting with this, uh, this here, this is a MIDI feature, wait for note, we won't get into that now. This little metronome looking thing here, that's what that is if you didn't recognize it, um, that turns the click on and off. So if you're, uh, you know, if you're, um, if, if you want to, if, if you don't want to mess with the mute on the, on the click track, you just uh, toggle this and that, that turns the click um, on and off. Then this little, uh, this little guy here where, where it says two bars, um, uh, this is a this is a cool feature. Um, when you're recording, uh, if you have this on, it's always gonna gonna give you two bars of the click track before uh, uh, before it starts playing or before it starts recording. So that's a cool feature. This one here, this uh, double arrow, is a MIDI merge. That's another MIDI function. Uh, and then below here, we have this little guy with his arms in the air. This is the conductor. And basically, you always want to have this guy blue. Um, if it's not, then you, you're, you're able to kind of mess with the, your session tempo and things, and it can be useful for some things, but it's going to make your life easier if, that's, if that guy's just blue all the time. So that gives you a brief, uh, uh, a brief overview of the, the counters and the, and, and the transport. And as you can see, uh, you can do a lot of different things with these, and, it, and it's good to just sort of practice and, and, and get good at uh, um, just knowing where all the features are on this so you're so you'll be able to get where you need to go in editing so um, that's uh, that's the main counter and the and the transport in the next section we're going to look at how to actually start editing and chopping up your audio <laughs>